Today we're going to be testing a Heathkit DX60 and a Heathkit VF1. The DX60 is the DX60B. Uh, the VF1, or the VFO, I should say, is a HG10 uh, VFO. And we are going to be receiving on a KX3, using it as a receiver. And uh, see how that goes, and then maybe we'll show some modulation. Uh, I don't, I don't, not putting any crystals in it. So you're going to see how it tests on the VF on the VFO input, and I don't know how it's going to test on the VFO uh, on on the crystal input. So uh, I have a key. As you see, we have two mils of grid current there on 40 meters, and uh, now we will load it up. I'll put it in the CW position. Put this in the plate position. And you can probably see the glow of a dummy load in the background. And uh, we are loaded up to uh, uh, about where we should be. Uh, let me dip the final and see if it's... There we are. And uh, the frequency... The VFO isn't perfectly on, but uh, in transportation, I'm going to let you adjust that. It's, uh, it says 7150, but we're reading about 7130. Okay, we are on 80 meters. I have it set on, I have the receiver set on 3.9, but we're reading around 3.88 on the VFO indication. Again, I will let you set that up. There's a little bit of a crack over here on the uh, VFO indicator. So uh, we see we have uh, plenty of good current. In fact, we have uh, a little bit too much. So I'm going to knock that down to about two mils. I'm going to bring the loading down, bring the plate over, uh, be nice, I should have put this in 80 meters, let's double check that and see where we are on the grid, and we're okay, we're okay there. Okay, so I'm going to load it up, and uh, see where we go. Okay, let's dip the final, and bring it up. Should have put this over in plate, we dip the final, and uh, bring it up, and it looks like we have the amount of output uh, that we're supposed to have okay and that's 80 meters so I'll put this in standby put that over to grid I'll put that over to tune let's try 40 meter we did 40 meters let's try uh, 20 meters okay and we want to bring that down to around 14.15 so let's go okay Okay, 14.15. Let's see where we are on the drive level. Oh, nice if I put the band switch over where it's supposed to go. That would really be nice. Okay, hit the drive tune. We've got plenty of grid current there. And so there we are. Okay. And there we are. We're uh, a little bit off on the uh, frequency there. Uh, we're reading about 14.1 when the via, when the output is about 14.15. Again, that's very easy to adjust. Uh, very easy to adjust, and it seems silly for me to adjust it when uh, through transportation it could change uh, it can change easily. So we have plenty of uh, grid current here, and so let's put it in the CW position. And let's put the loading down to zero. We are on 20 meters. And I better dip the final before the final turns purple. Okay. And we bring this up. And bring that down. And bring this up. And, well, it's too much power here. Let's lower that there a little bit. Okay. So we got plenty of, we got plenty of power on the DX60. Uh, and the VFO... Uh, is has plenty of grid drive we're going to try it up on 15 meters okay we'll try it up on 15 meters put this in the tune position and be nice if we put the receiver up up there on um, we'll put it on 21 2 not sure where we how, how far we may be off on frequency and i will adjust the drive tune here okay and then bring the level up and we got plenty there and uh, let's see if we can find it Okay, and there we are. It's reading around 21.15, so we're, 
we're a little bit off here. Okay, we're a little bit off. But you can adjust it. And if you don't want to adjust it, you don't have to buy it. And if I don't sell it, I will go in and recalibrate it because it is extremely simple to do. Extremely simple to do. I'm just too lazy to take off the cover. Shoot me, okay? All right. 